Hey everyone, this is Planet Mitch from Planet5D.com with episode number 40. Do I do the number thing? Yeah, you're tired of it. I'm going to talk today about complaining. Yes, it's true. Every now and then it's okay to complain. And in fact, sometimes when you complain, you learn something. Now, I try not to complain too often, or often, depending upon how you say it. Uh, but a couple of weeks ago, I was whining miserably on Twitter about how slow Final Cut Pro 10 is to load. And lo and behold, two people, and I apologize for not remembering which two people it was. I could go back and look, probably, but that would take two or three or four or five minutes to search. And I didn't want to take the time. Sorry. Anyway, two different people, two suggested that I use a program called Event Manager 10 or Event Manager X, whichever you prefer. And so I tried it out and I'm going to show you what it does right here on my desktop, right there. Now, this is the Event Manager window. Um, it's a $5 utility, by the way. A whopping $5 will get you this product. And, let me tell you, it works like a charm. What it does is that it takes all of your disks, and you can see that I have four different disks mounted right now. The Robo Forward MISC and Drobo Forward Video are both uh, logical drives in my Drobo. Macintosh hard drive, you know, I came up with a very clever name there, didn't I? And Buffalo One is the external drive that I have mounted right now that has some video on it. Uh, you obviously see the little triangles, so you can expand and contract that. So you're also seeing this lower window that has the project library. So what does it do, Mitch? Well, when Final Cut 10 runs without Event Manager, it goes out to every one of your hard drives and it finds all of the folders that say Final Cut Pro events and Final Cut Pro projects, and it mounts those and loads all of their assets so that when you're in Final Cut Pro 10, it works like a charm and things run very fast. But that also takes a bunch of memory, and it takes a lot of time to load. So Event Manager 10 takes care of that by extracting certain events and projects, you see the ones without a check mark won't get loaded. So you get the opportunity to decide before you launch Final Cut Pro 10, and that's where this checkbox down here uh, says when you click on the box that says move events and projects, it actually just sort of moves those folders into some temporary locations so that Final Cut Pro doesn't find them and launch them or mount them or load them or whatever the right phrase is. I found that when I started using Event Manager 10, I went from load times on Final Cut Pro of two to five minutes. I mean, it was just drastically crazy. I would sit and launch Final Cut Pro 10 and just kind of like go take a break because it would take forever. Uh, most of the time now it takes less than 30 seconds uh, depending upon which events I have loaded. So that's cool. Complaints? Do I find something negative? Well, there is one negative about it and I think I can show you, but I don't have Final Cut 10 loaded. So let me pause now that Final Cut 10 is running, you can see it over here, and you can see that I've got some events and some projects loaded based on Event Manager 10. Now, one of the things that drove me crazy, and it still does, is that I'm a lousy file manager, apparently, or when I load events, I don't always name them very well. And one of the negatives of this is that if you happen to like to use the search box, and search through your clips for file names or titles or whatever you've done for your uh, uh, naming standards, then if the clips aren't loaded, you're not going to find them. So that can take some negativity or some adjustment. Now, 
my problem with this tool is, let's say, for example, um, I am looking at what I've got here in Final Cut 10, and I want to, I realized I'm missing these Biloxi events. So if I check them, and let's say I want to scroll down, or I switch over to Final Cut 10, and I want to scroll and say, well, there's another event missing, and I come back over to Event Manager 10, notice that those things become became unchecked. So every time you switch to a different application and come back, and you're wanting to maybe select multiple events or projects, then that isn't going to work. You're going to have to remember which ones you checked, and then when you come back, they're unchecked. It's just it's just a little nit, but the other day when I was trying to uh, find all of the things that I was doing for the Nikon D800 that I'm supposed to report on, uh, I was looking for some events, and when I started switching back and forth, they became unchecked, and so what you end up doing is is trying to remember what you had checked, and then relaunching Final Cut Pro 10 or you know whatever it's it's up to you at that point as to how you want to manage it but just remember that it doesn't remember those for you if you switch back and forth without relaunching there you go that's a quick look at event manager 10 and final cut pro 10 and if you want to take a gander at that yourself just go to planet5d.com slash e m x that's event manager 10 or emx and that will send you right over to their link where you can purchase that i'm not an affiliate i paid for it myself by the way i know shocking i paid for something all by myself five dollars oh it was such an expense anyway if you want that check it out uh, i highly encourage you try that out because it does save massive load time on final cut pro 10 Thanks for watching Planet 5D, and check back again hopefully tomorrow for yet another daily Planet 5D episode. I don't know what I'm doing with my hand.